from Atlanta, Georgia, from the Fox 5 Studios, you're watching Good Day Atlanta. And welcome back to Good Day. The amazing theatrical masterpiece, Les Miserables, has won more than 50 major awards, including a Grammy and eight Tony Awards. And now it's coming to the fabulous Fox. And one of the stars of this landmark production was once a gridiron gladiator for the Bulldogs at UGA. Here with us this morning, Rob Evan, who plays Jean Valjean, the lead in Les Mis. Rob, what a pleasure to have you here. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. Yes, here. indeed. So, first of all, I know everyone wants to know, how does... <laughs> A gladiator of the gridiron become a thespian. Well, let's get it right. I, I was actually a punter, so I don't okay. know if you call a punter a gladiator. <laughs> They're probably laughing. Coach Dooley's probably laughing right now. <laughs> but uh, it's it's a short trip. It actually is. And you know, when you're performing in front of uh, 100,000 people in a football stadium, you still want to get that same rush as you do in show business. Yes, so indeed. It's, I uh, know the feeling. You know it's a frustrating form rapidly. <laughs> yeah. No feeling. Well, you played for one of uh, Coach Dooley's last football teams. What kind of lessons did Coach Dooley teach you that helped you um, in your travels in the theater? Well, you know what? Uh, coach Dooley was such an amazing coach. And, and, and just, you know, when he walked out on the field, he gained so much respect just, you know, with his, his presence and, and uh so it was just it was it's such a master class in watching somebody how they 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 uh they hold themselves in in different situations and whatnot and and i think i would have been a better football player had i been more relaxed mm. you know and, but i learned that on the stage and 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 you know honing my craft over the past 15 years and being yeah. in new york and yeah uh, it's a blessing I'm, I'm really lucky to be able to do what i love to do right and make a living on it yes indeed and speaking of that jekyll and hyde the original cast member 600 performances right. what an opportunity um and how far your career has come because late miz i mean this has to be the feather in your cap would you say Definitely. You know what, I, uh, Mark, I played this part, Jean Valjean, uh, 12 years ago mm -hmm. on Broadway. Uh, much too young for the part at the time. I'm, I'm more suited, I guess, age-wise for it. And I, um, but to be able to revisit this, and especially uh, at the Fox, where I actually got my Actors Union card, Chris Manis, our producer, gave it to me, doing a production of South Pacific with Howard Keel in uh, 1990. So it's just such a thrill and a joy for me to play this part that really, I guess, molded my career back at the Fox here in yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, and, and speaking of Les Mis, I mean, it is an institution, an icon, Absolutely. a landmark theatrical production, and the first ever in China, the first ever Broadway production in China. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. Yeah, amazing stuff. But what's it, what's it like at the Fox? I mean, to have that atmosphere, to be in such a hallowed venue um, when you're on that stage and, and you com you're commanding that performance. Oh, it's, it's all inspiring to walk out there and you look up at the, the sky, if anybody that's seen the Fox knows what a great vibe that theater has oh, yeah. and uh, I'm just psyched to be back in there. It's, yeah. The audiences in Atlanta are so uh, warm and, and receptive and this show, again, is, is such an amazing show to be a part of. So I know that we're all really excited about tomorrow night. Yeah, does the intimacy of the Fox kind of add to its luster? Well, it's funny you call it intimate. I mean, it's it's almost 5,000 seats, so that's not really <laughs> that intimate. Right? <laughs> but it's funny, you know, it actually, you do feel a sort of intimacy mm -hmm. on that stage. With this particular production of Les Mis, we just played The Starlight in Kansas City, mm -hmm. which is almost 10,000, and it's outdoors. And then Wolf Trap outside of D.C., another huge venue. So I'm so excited about mm -hmm. getting this a little bit closer, being able to reach people and connect yeah. with the yeah. show. So. Speaking of connections, you once had a brief stop on all my children. Oh, no. <laughs> brief, I think, is the key word to that. <laughs> Early mornings, you yeah. know, I'm not very good at that. I was uh, commenting on that. And how right. I I, I'm so, uh, I have so much respect for what you do, getting up early. Those soap operas are early mornings, too. So, uh, I, you know, that was a very just kind of brief stop along the uh -huh. line. Uh, a road bump, if you if you might say. A road bump. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's Erica Kane. I, well, it was. I'm sure yeah, you must yeah. have had illusions of grandeur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More delusions. Delusions. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, congratulations. Uh, what a you. pleasure to have I you here this morning. It. Absolutely. Absolutely. Les Mis opens this Friday at the fabulous Fox Theater and runs through the 28th. Visit our website at myfoxatlanta.com and you'll see a link okay. for tickets and more information um. and showtime. Just look at our scene on TV section after the show. Jeff Paul.